singles finalists. And leading the pack, Li Shui Ri from China. Ranked 141st in the world, but very deceiving. She was actually number one ranked in the world for three straight years. She tore her ACL, but you can see she's got the uh, brace on the left knee. So she's been recovering from that, but she was out of uh, the tournament circuit for a while, so her ranking plummeted. No results. But she was the 2012 Olympic gold medalist. She is 27 years old. And now, your junior ambassadors, Melissa Rowe. She has 14 Super Series titles to her name. And her first comeback tournament was winning the Ling Shui Masters in April. And she won the U.S. Open last week. Again, unseated. She had to qualify to get into that event and uh, plowed right through the whole draw, coming up against our player, Canadian player Michelle Lee in the semifinals. And same thing in uh, this event. She also had to qualify, and Michelle had to meet her again this time in the second round. Michelle played really well against her, but lost in three games. Opponent, Sayaka Takahashi, 15th seeded in the world, age 25, and she's a lefty. She is the New Zealand Open champ, which she did in May. Swiss Open champ in February. And has made her way to the finals here, playing quite steadily right through the tournament. As I mentioned, Lee beat our Michelle Lee in the second round. She defeated an American player in the first round. Defeated a Japanese player, Hayashi, in the quarters. And then another Japanese player, Atsuka Takahashi, in the semifinals yesterday. Sayaka Takahashi, our second seed, defeated in her first round a German opponent. Then Jacobson from Denmark in the second round. Korean player Jeon in the quarterfinals. And then Sai Yan Yan in the semifinals in the two straight games. So she herself has had only one three game match. Ready to play. Yeah, a little unlucky, I would say, for. Um Canada's Michelle Lee to come up against Lee twice in two weeks and especially here where she's the first seed and then to get a Lee coming out of the qualifying to get her early is pretty it's too bad unfortunate would have been nice for the Canadian crowd to get a chance to see Michelle in a few more matches yeah Michelle's ranked uh, 14th in the world so a tough draw for her like you said having to having played her in the U.S. Open the week before. And Michelle actually was a former winner of this event in 2014, 2015, and 2016 in the women's singles. With a little partisan, maybe. Ladies and gentlemen. Well, again, you're on my trying right, to, the whole Lee point Shire, of having seeds is China. sort of protecting them from things like that. But when you have a former and on my left, you know, Olympic Sayaka champion and Takahashi, they haven't played in a Japan. while, a bit unlucky. And I don't know what you can do. I don't know if you, no, it's you, totally you can't give her a seat either. Love all. Play. I imagine we'll see longer One rallies long. than we did in the men's singles. We saw Lee yesterday 
with a commanding win in the first round. And then really lost her focus in the second round as her Japanese opponent stepped up the pace. And regrouped in the third, so we'll see how, how she does in this, this match. That's one of her better shots, that slice to their opponent's, well, in this case, her opponent's backhand corner. As we said, Sayaka is a lefty. Not as big as an, an issue in singles as it is in doubles, I don't think. Good accuracy. Do you think there's much of a difference playing a lefty in singles? Yeah, I mean, just the fact that you're not seeing it as often, but not getting surprised maybe as much as in doubles, where sometimes you sort of forget where the, the lefty is. Again, the crowd probably a little bit more behind uh, Lee, the Chinese player. So far, both players hitting well to the corner, just settling in, trying to move each other around. We see the high single serve, which we hasn't haven't seen a whole lot this week. Four, a little safer three. to do it in the women's singles than the men. We saw in our last match Lou pounding it to the floor from the back line. It's a little safer in the women's singles. Sayaka's trying to Five, come at Lee. She's not giving her an easy run at it. She's trying to put some pressure on her with those almost double style drives, but just missing that one. Dig out of that deep forehand corner, but just missing it. Yeah, and you can sort of just there see her these experience, right? Just knowing the court almost as soon as that shuttle was hit, she knew Five, it was wrong. Yeah. Seven. Yeah. Players, we've seen a lot of players hit into the net from that side. Yeah, again, if the shuttle is sort of being, you know, pushed back a little bit or pushed in front of you a little bit, that's almost, sometimes it's almost harder. Yeah, you overswing and. Well, just your contact <laughs> points end up just a little bit more in front of you, right? Yeah. And, cross-court net shot that we saw Lou doing so well in the last match. Lee catching Sayaka on that one as well.
shots to the corners. Six, Both players nine. pushing each other to deep corners. And Lee shot just not quite making it over. Missing it though. Over. Ten, Again, six. the difference I find at this level is everything is that much tighter to the corners. You're really pushing your opponents to the edge of the court. And when you don't, you probably lose the rally. Did you ever play singles? I did, yeah. Were you very good at it? Mm. I think I was, my body six. type better suited for men's doubles. Good answer. Thank you. I think I've seen body play. Definitely wasn't suited for singles. You have to be a little bit crazy to be a singles player, I find. Just a little bit. To be willing to suffer a little bit. Well, if, if Andrew was still here, I'd probably give a shot, but he's not here to defend himself, so we can't really say that much. But I agree with I you. I think he would agree. <laughs> yeah. So we're at the 11 point break. Again, the coach is allowed to come out and give some pointers. 20 seconds, 20 seconds. We've got 60 seconds to coach. chat and then you can hear the umpire saying, you've had your moment, you've had your minute, off you go, back to your seat. Some coaches have more to say than they have time to do it, but you can still natter away from the back of the court in between rallies as long as you don't delay the game. 11-6, play. Takahashi to the corners and Takahashi's trying to do the same thing back but it's having a little rougher time. Again, similar to the men's match, you know, the Japanese player here feeling like she has to be perfect and maybe making a little bit, Service over. a few more unforced Eight, errors because 12. of that. Yeah. I feel like Lee is the more dangerous of the two. Well, I think her offense is just tough to read. She's got so much deception and then power as well. Again, like you said, just missing it. Trying to go for a line and missing it. Service over. 13-8. And like I said, that's pretty common. You sort of get an opportunity and you think you really, I better make the most of this. And then you just go for just a little bit too much. It's really hard to sort of stay within yourself and sort of say, okay, I'm just gonna try to play the same way that it got me to the final. Not go for Not too overdo much. it. Yeah. yeah. And I, I think there's there's that tendency to do that when you're playing somebody who is the former Olympian gold medalist and you know as high ranked as, as Lee was. I'm thinking, well I've gotta do that extra bit. Well played. Yeah. Service over. Nine, thirteen. Well, we saw Lee get a little bit shaky in the game yesterday, like I mentioned. So, you know, if, uh, if she can be, if the Japanese player can come at her, maybe rattle her a bit. Can be really sort of getting onto so the net there. Yeah, good anticipation. Takahashi 
at 25, one of the older members of the Japanese team here, believe it or not. Ranked 15th in the world. And Lee, age 27th, again ranked 141st, but that's completely unrealistic. A little misleading. See. Yeah. Well, it'll probably take a few more tournaments for her rankings to get to the point where she's getting a position in a draw. Takahashi keeping her racket up, ready for the next shot. Always important. Some players drop their rackets after a shot and she's ready for the next one there. Oh! I'm seeing a lot of full-on smashes by her. She's just very surgical, puts the bird to the corners, variations of slices, sometimes come out with, comes out with a big smash, but a lot of her shots, just pressure to the corners. with these clears, she really pressuring, sort of hitting what we would sort of say a penetrating or attacking style clear, really putting pressure on Takahashi. Just like that. Yeah. Takahashi is, is doing what she has to do. She can't stray away from hitting it deep to the corners and you know she's going to miss a few of them, like you said, but she can't really start playing it too safe because then Lee will just run away with it. <laughs> Takahashi is still trying to overrule the Lions person. Takahashi. Again, we're not in the best spot to see that, but it looked long from here. Let's have a look. Uh, 17, 12. Tough to call here. Yeah. Well, that's the problem, too. As a player, you've got to make sure you're out of the way so the linesman can see it. And sometimes if they're not sure, they'll either unsight it or they'll, you know, take a guess. Hard to say whether that was the case or not, but I always made a point to give a straight line of sight for the linesman, lines person. Lee really working that forehand corner. And maybe Takahashi leaning in for it. 13, 17. Well, and Takahashi off Lee's attack is starting to push her to the back a little bit more. Working so yeah. sure. Keep on doing it. 17. Japanese coaches have had a chance to look at Leah a fair bit. She played one of their players, Hayashi, in the quarterfinals and then played Atsuka Takahashi yesterday. Over. So they've had a chance to try a few different styles and tactics against her. Just sort of picking up the tempo just a little bit. Yeah. Say, okay, I'm, that's close enough. I'm gonna take it up a notch and 
try to finish this. Like we saw yesterday, where Lee just seems to lose her focus a bit on some simple shots. Crowd rallying behind her. sort of wanders in and out of the game mentally at times. I think, you know, for Takahashi's side, she is making fewer mistakes now. Yeah, of the two, she definitely seems to be sort of more into it at least emotionally. Yeah. She's definitely extending Lee. As a, you know, like a former number one, Mike, you know, just plays the big points well, right? Maybe takes some lapses, but she recognizes when she really has to sort of bear down and focus. I think that's a good, a good read. It looks like she is a little cautious. I haven't, I guess I haven't seen her play a ton recently, but, and sometimes that's, you know, the knee is good to go, but mentally you're not quite ready to test it fully. Yeah. Got a couple of friends who have snapped their Achilles tendons and come back and definitely tiptoeing when you're going to that back around the head corner. A little leery to jump up and see how it is full shot. Pretty common seconds. injury for yeah. Hamilton players, especially yeah. your age. <laughs> I thought we'd get through a full, <laughs> a full session here with that, uh, an age shot, but no. <laughs> well, these are the kind of matches where Takahashi lost the first, but definitely came on and definitely, you know, bumped up her game. And I think, you know, good, a good push towards the end of that first game and whether she can play off of it in the second game and, you know, uh, come at Lee, you know, build off of it and see if she can take her in the second one, the same as her teammate did yesterday.
sometimes that's you know the strategy for try to just extend the match as much as we can. So if that was the goal, she around 20 minutes for that first set. Good start. deep a lot more. You know, quite a few of the athletes found a little difficulty adjusting to the difference in altitude out here. You're out here all the time, but do you, do you hear that from people coming to visit, coming to train? It's definitely a factor. Usually takes anywhere from five to 10 days to sort of fully climatize. Air's a little thinner here. It sort of burns the lungs a little bit. And the shuttle plays a little, just a slightly little bit different. I don't know if you ever found that. Yeah, for sure. Just when you're at sea level, you just got to give it a little bit extra. Shuttle comes off a little heavier here at altitude. It sort of comes off a little quicker. I always found the smash goes down faster. You can put the smash on the floor here a lot more, and we go back to the middle of Canada in Toronto. Humidity's high, and yeah, it's tough to be finished rallies. Blasting away to get on the floor. Yeah, that's why I moved here, so my... Smash would be better. The cannon in Calgary. <laughs> Five, two. Again, similar to yesterday with Lee, sort of a bit of a slow start out of the break or after the first set. She did, she got it. Three, five. One, one, one. Yeah. Straight down, boom. Hard to get that one. Four, five. Again, Takahashi's gotta go for it. She can't relax too much, but it's gonna get a few mistakes as a result, but I think she's playing a good game plan. Cut it, yeah. yeah. I think that's one of her favorite go to shots that straight slice. <laughs> Gives it right back. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Six, five. Yeah, like you said, I think she's doing the right thing. She's sort of, she has to go at Lee. She can't sort of sit back and try to follow too much. Well, 
definitely trying to move her from the rear court to the fore court. Seven, five. Takahashi is just trying to push Lee back there and make her cover as much court as possible. Change up there. <laughs> There's the problem with the cross court. If they're looking for it, it's a long way from the one deep corner all the way to the net there. Yeah, I was going to say she read that well. Yeah. Really took that block really early. Yeah, stepped into it. Ten, five, Lee, Lee. Lee not happy with come the here. call, trying to chat a bit with the lines Lee. person. Lee, come here. You must not influence the line judge. 10-5, play. Court slice. Great shot. Just missed it. No. Oh. Seven, ten, Lee. Okay. Lee being spoken to again. Wait about for line judge. Okay. Okay, wait for line judge. Either celebrating Seven, ten, it or play. trying to influence. Ah. Umpires are definitely on the players a lot more for that sort of thing these days. Yeah. Easy mistake there from Lee. Maybe needs a little bit of a you know, jump start or something. And just a little yeah, bit again, she just cash, sort of you know? almost looks disinterested sometimes. Yeah, I know. I don't know if that's, if that's her normal style, but, you know, it's a little bit of a zip there might, uh, might help. Looks like the coach gave her one or two things and then just walked away. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Lee was listening too much. 20 seconds, 20 seconds. Well, again, there's no lack of experience there. She knows what she's doing. Yeah, at this stage, right? It could be a few things. I, I doubt there isn't, I doubt there's something there she isn't really seeing. Have we seen Lee do a long serve yet? It seems like uh, Takahashi's quite comfortable putting her, I mean, she's I think she's pushing Lee to the backcourt for sure. Of course, she's short serves. Service over. A, a lot more of a mix Eight, of serves 11. from Takahashi than Lee. Court. Well, Lee eight. sticking Takahashi in the corner and then Takahashi. Yeah, that's not an easy shot. No. From down low, too, she was reaching on it. I think Lee thought she was going to go straight. 
Not so much of singles. It, straight or cross court, just trying to read what your opponent's going to do and as the attacker trying to keep them guessing. Yeah, both players seem to sort of struggle with that back line on that side. Mm -hmm. She definitely isn't giving Lee any easy ones like she did in the few easy rallies in the first game. Not as many in this one. just out like that. Well, they're both trying to keep each other right on the back line. 10, 14. Slightly missing it. That straight one down the line again, and yeah, she's not missing by much, but just a little bit yeah. off. Good read. Sixteen ten. And it's, again, it's like we saw yesterday: the Japanese players get caught in the beginning, and they seem to adapt really quickly. Go from scrambling and sometimes not getting the shot to anticipating it pretty quickly. Good hold by Takahashi at the net. Keep Lee guessing. Well, and you wonder too if Lee is maybe at this stage not going to maybe put forth too big of an effort and save it for the third. Service over. 11, She'll take points 17. if she can get them, but maybe. Is there a Chinese expression for save gas? <laughs> <laughs> Probably is. Oh, Sometimes that play a little freer, 17. you tell yourself, oh, I'm just going to cruise a little bit, and then you end up sort of relaxing, clawing, and relaxing and hitting a few better shots, and before you know it. She just went three in a row as soon as I said that, yeah. of course. <laughs> Reverse the score. That's one of my go to things. Reverse the score. If you're ahead, you ever do that? Uh, give me a little more on that. If you're ahead and you feel like your opponent's creeping back on you with the score, maybe you're relaxing mentally, you reverse the score mentally, like oh, you're I the see. one gotcha. crawling back. Play, so, yeah. You, yeah. So you play a little harder, a little tighter, just sort of don't let them in. Yeah. Yeah, I know I often say that to the. 17. 
juniors after they win the first try to pretend like you've lost that one and keep going because it's easy to relax so easier said than done She has fine-tuned her game because she was just missing those down-the-line shots. Sort of, you know, been able to pull it in a little bit and just keeping Lee extended right to the corners with, with making, you know, very few mistakes the second game. And just missed it again. 19, 15. 20, game point, 15. She must have heard me. I think she reversed the score mentally. Seen a little Second more emotion from Takahashi there. Lee again, fairly stoic. Team. Not one game all. Well, we? it, it's almost like you said. It, it, it seemed like she was like, okay, maybe this one's gonna let go for me. Yeah. And she eased up and actually won a few rallies. And then Takahashi pushing around. Lee was like, okay, I'll you know I'll make an effort, but not too much here. Start saving it up for the next game. Coach talking to her. What do you think? Step up the pace if you're Lee? Yeah, I think so. She seems to start off both the matches that we've seen her in. She starts off with a pretty quick pace and then kind of slows it down a bit. And uh, She'll have to speed things up a little bit for this one. Just put a little more pressure on Takahashi. Takahashi's getting a lot of them back now. Certainly moving Lee to the backcourt more seemed to make a difference. Well, enough of the two, I think she is moving better. So yeah. Her court movement, her court coverage is a little bit better. And again, just sort of a little bit more positive energy. We'll see now sort of talking with her coach giving her thoughts I think that's the first time we've seen her respond to him yeah. <laughs> but that might be the style of, that's just maybe the style of player she's been right through Again, there was a couple there where Lee just, just sort of missing. So I expect her coach sort of saying, just tighten it up just a little bit. Let's not give too many free points. Well, I think you have those days too where you're going for things and if you're missing them, you sort of back off a little bit just to get back in the zone and then you know, step it up again. Yeah, I mean, she has enough experience to sort of recognize that, okay? Yeah. Just a little bit off today. But it's tough, too, if maybe she doesn't feel like she has the fitness well, it, to extend it, rallies. And again, you sort of do go for a little bit. And she went for a lot there and missed it. Well, and, and it could be that. I mean, she went three games with Michelle in the second round. And second game, she lost 13 and then won 10 in the third. And yesterday we saw her lose nine in the second game and then turned around and won 12 in the third. It's almost like she sort of may recognize that stage where, okay, I'll let this one go and go get it in the third. Yeah, and that's generally the first thing you lose when you take a break is that fitness. Yeah. 
It's the hardest thing to get back, unfortunately. Did you ever do any big injuries when you were playing? Um, nothing too big, but I did have to have a few little scopes the knees. on the knees. Yeah. And yeah, you know, even being out three, four months, it definitely takes you a while to get back up to standard. Good cross court. But you know, according to a Harvard medical study, racket sports help prolong life in a way. They did a study, 80,000 people over nine years, and they did a study and found that people who regularly play, regularly play racket sports were 47% less likely to die. To die? Yes. I mean, it's not just a little thing. 20 percentage points better than swimming, which came in second, with a 28% lower risk of dying. So racket sports are the ultimate mind and body activity. So it's not just physical, it's mental, you're using your brain, strategy, that sort of thing. Right. Bodes well for us anyways, playing racket sports for a couple decades. Maybe that could be our new slogan for Bampton. Play Bampton, live longer. <laughs> that came from an associate clinical professor of psychiatry at the Harvard Medical School. And I don't think Three, Takahashi four. is too enamored with that call. Her no. coach, for sure, th thought it was out. Again, tough to for us to get a good look at those. Well, we've both been in that situation where you're, you know, the big match. Maybe it looks like it's out, or maybe you want it to be out. I can see Lee sort of picked up her movement a little bit here. Get a little bit more of a spring in her step. Yeah, and all that does is just puts a little bit more pressure on your opponent. You're just taking the shuttle that much earlier, giving them less time to react. Going back to the lines people, there's quite a few players and juniors in particular who would opt not to be the linesmen, lines people at some of these tournaments because they know how difficult it can be. She was there for it, just missed it. Shots down the side, and then the body shot. It's just keeping your opponent guessing, right? Have them stretch out to one side of the court, then the other, and when they think you're going to the other side, you poke it right in the middle. taking everything well in front if she can, whenever possible. Oh. Tight net shot with the spin, hard for Takahashi to return it properly. They're both trying to come in there and spin that shuttle at the net.
miss. But I think, again, it's like you were saying, that's one of those shots that are a little bit far in front, and you maybe take it a little too, get behind it a little bit too much. Yeah, well, I think Takahashi can sense, too, that Lee sort of picked up her movement and, again, starts thinking she has to do a little bit more. Yeah. And all week we've sort of seen the net court sort of, or the net court Six, rather, eight. favoring the far side to us. A little gust of wind just, <laughs> just pushes it over there. Yeah, every little bit helps. Yeah. Only a little slow to get up. Again, she's not going to rush to get into the next rally. She's going to take her time, try to rest up. Six, yep. Eight. Backcourt forcing the lift out the back. Nine, six. Play. There's a lot of the side short serve there out to the side of the court. Yeah, it's almost a set play for her. She's sort of hoping her opponent is going to push it into her forehand. combination from Takahashi straight one and then opens up the other side of the court and sticks it in there before Lee can get over there. Reaching Lee, reaching then boom. Down again. Again maybe a little Gamesmanship from Lee there. Not in a hurry to get back into the next rally. Yeah. Clean the court. Walk around a bit. Well, she read it right, just miss hit it. Again, we're sort of seeing that style from. Takahashi that got her back into the first set, sort of pushing the shuttle to the back of the court. Well, she really is working the back of the court, even the serve. I mean, the two of them, one is serving right to the back line, and Lee, on the other hand, is serving short and trying to start off Takahashi lifting to her if she can. Stepped up pace we saw in the beginning. It didn't seem like Lee's able to keep it going right through. Ten. Just oh. missed it, Takahashi. Just slightly out the back line again. That tight spinning net shot, that go-to slice that 
Lee does a lot of, and again, just out by uh, an inch or so. Well, she got it. Takahashi, a little bit of a hold there off the return of serve, and just forced Lee to pause and hit the line with it. So Takahashi up by one here at the split. Well, not the quick third game that we've seen from Lee up till now. Again, volunteers out there doing the quick clean. A lot of times with the feather birds, little pieces of the feathers come off and they get kind of slippery on these, well, on any of the courts, so. Clean off the sweat and some of the bird feather pieces. 20 seconds. And you can see now, too, the Chinese coach staying out there for the full break, recognizing that this is uh, the time where he's got to try to find that extra gear if she has it. Earn his keep. Point. deadpan right through it. It's just sort of her style, I guess, but like you said, very, uh, very stoic. Nice. Just went for a little bit extra on that attack. Pays Eleven. off. Eleven all. Lining it up. Slightly shorter clear by Takahashi. It in. 13, 11. Lee past the shuttle. Yeah, the umpire doesn't seem to be willing to or make an overall, so supporting the line judge. I don't know. It's pretty good from here. Again, again, a short lift by Takahashi. So she's got to be careful not to get too many of those. Twelve, thirteen. He's jumped on the last two of those short lifts and put the bird down quite quickly. So. Oh. That's the reason why you know Takahashi's putting it up into the rafters. It's not easy to get a clean hit when the shuttle's coming straight down like that. Yeah. Especially in a big hall like this. Body shot again, Lee's going for it, but just floated it at the back. She's won a couple points going down the middle, but missed that one. Just slightly a little too flat.
just keeps going for it, though. I mean, she doesn't back off. We've seen a couple of those down the line smashes to just paint the line there. Yeah, I think, too, she recognizes she doesn't want to get into too long of a rally there and sort of deciding I'm going to end this rally one way or another yeah, here. Cut to the chase. Back for her now. Yeah. Might have been a bit of a tired shot there. Trying to go too tight. Good rally. Lee sort of going at it a bit harder again. A little more pressure. We sometimes see some easier mistakes towards the end of these three gamers. It's just tough to keep your focus and get a little tired. I'd be tired. Trying to have a peek at the big screen here right. in the hall. She's waiting for the, the replay, replay, but right. You're trying to call, really trying to look for that out call, but not getting it. Hey, it's tough being a lines person. You got to stick to your guns. <laughs> I'm much more comfortable up here. Well, especially when the player is looking you right in the eyes, trying to influence you their way. Tough shot sometimes, you know, just she's out of reach, just get it over there, and there's that little pressure to 18, get to the 17. shot quickly and keep it in. Yeah, but again, Lee's sort of making her do that, right? Digging just that little bit extra now. Yeah, yeah. Play. 18 17. from Takahashi and Lee coming in on it. 19, yeah, Takahashi doesn't look too happy with herself there, almost like she can sort of sense what's coming. <laughs> and there, just not, not nearly as much length on it and height that she thought she was gonna get. Lee up by two now. She struggled back. The body shot with a smash again. Shots when she needed the most. 20, match point 17. There's that slice she's been using all day off and on. 
Yeah, that cut well in front of the service line there, really bringing Takahashi all the way into the net. There it is again. And that does it for <laughs> Long, long rallies there in the end of the third match, the third game. There's that slice. Both, both women exhausted. Is that joy or just relief? It's over. I think it's relief. <laughs> yeah. A little bit of both. <laughs> well, I think she recognizes that Takahashi really tested her today and probably feels Fairly happy with herself that she came out on top. Yeah. Match won by Misha Ray, 22-20, 15-21, 21-17. But again, you could sort of see where Lee sort of chose when to dictate the rallies and. Yep. When when did it, like she picks and chooses her times, and you could see her sort of uh, relax relaxing a bit and sort of regrouping and maybe saying, oh, okay, I can give up a few of these if I have to. I'll, uh, I'll come back and she's, that seems to be her style right now. And it could be, again, like you said, fighting back from an injury. She may not have her optimal fitness yet and just trying to parcel out when she goes for stuff. Yeah, no, I think that's probably more likely the case not able to expend too much energy all the time. Just keeping herself far enough ahead that she finishes off what she needs to. Lots of support from the crowd. Decent-sized Chinese community in Calgary, rooting for her. And they will work their way over to the podium for the championship presentation before our last match of the tournament, the mixed doubles finals between Marcus Ellis and Lauren Smith versus Mark Lampfus and Isabel Hertrich. And here we see the last, some of these last few rallies of our women's singles battle. Great long rallies. And a few questionable <laughs> calls maybe. And the finale. It's nice to see a little emotion out of Lee there at the end. Yeah. Well, some people need that style when they're on the court. So, you know, just can't play well, screaming, yelling, and doing all that yeah. sort of thing. Just a cool cucumber. Takahashi getting her silver medal, well earned. Second seed, living up to her seed. And the unseeded, as it were, qualifier of the tournament winning the Canada Open after last week winning the US Open from a similar spot in the draw. Cowboy hat. You must have a cowboy hat. Uh, I do. I wouldn't say I don it very often. Maybe just during the ten days during Stampede, the odd time. Okay. I don't. I don't really. Can't really pull it off too well. No. Okay. No. no. It's 
that you've been here for. It doesn't a while go well with my sneakers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have the boots. <laughs> I haven't. Okay. Yeah, they can tell. Yeah. Again, there's uh, 5,600 US. Part of the $75,000 U.S. total prize money for this event. Again, this is the Bampton World Federation Super Series 100 event. 